Time a transgender juvenile is transferred to an adult prison in Connecticut. Yeah, it's rare for a juvenile to be transferred to an adult prison in the first place, let alone a transgender teen. News 8's Tina Detell has more. It is extremely rare to have a juvenile who is in the custody of the Department of Children and Families, not the Department of Correction, to be transferred to an adult prison. Hasn't happened in more than 10 years. And never has a transgender juvenile been ordered through the doors of the Janice S. York Correctional Institution by a judge. Because this is a minor, the Department of Correction is not discussing why this was done, but a state statute says this is allowed when a youth is deemed dangerous to him or herself and cannot be safely held in a DCF program. The DOC released this statement. The court order requires that the transgender juvenile be assessed at the York Correctional Institution in Niantic, which houses the state's female offender population. It goes on to define a transgender person as someone whose gender identity or internal sense of feeling, male or female, is different from his or her assigned sex at birth. The DOC commissioner says, we will do everything in our power to provide a safe, secure, and humane environment for this individual, as we would for any person under our supervision. While here, the juvenile will be assessed to determine a more permanent placement. In the Niantic section of East Lyme, Tina Detell, News 8.